from the bedroom. The workroom is very, very filled to the brim with things, and I can't get in there to do a video because Amy is working hard on orders, and uh, the room is filthy dirty because there's just clutter everywhere. And so I guess it's not filthy dirty, it's just cluttery dirty, and that drives me crazy. And so uh, I can't get in there to film a video, so hello. I'm sitting in my bed. I ignore the water ball that's sitting right there. That is electrolytes because I ran this morning a uh, mile and a half. I think it was my, my final run thing, but it feels really good to be running again, let me tell you. Uh, with the injury, it really derailed me for a couple weeks because of uh, just, I think, dealing with the emotional aspect of being injured. I've never really had to deal with that before with physical stuff because. You know, I've been running pretty solidly for well, a while, and I was getting up to where I could run eight miles. I ran eight miles, no problem, except for the foot pain that happened afterwards. And so, uh, you know, I went to P PT, and and the physical therapist was pretty nice and gave me some stretches and stuff. And I did cancel my second one that I was supposed to do a follow up with her because of all the virus stuff, and then. All of those things have been canceled on their own anyways. Uh, they're not even doing that stuff right now. So, uh, anyways. So, I just wanted to update real quick. Uh, this isn't going to be a long video, but I just wanted to update about what's going on with us. With everything. We haven't been vlogging a lot lately, which, you know, I kind of... We need to be more just because there's a lot of interesting stuff going on right now. Well, not really super interesting, but... You know, we've, we've been having uh, a pretty good amount. We're super busy with our store, which we're really thankful for and feel pretty blessed by. That uh, through all of this stuff, we're able to provide a lot of masks for people. And uh, those orders will start shipping very soon. If you ordered a mask from us, just know that we, uh, we're starting to... I think we're going to start shipping those out Saturday. Like, slowly those orders will start going out as we make masks. And it's been a big undertaking. We have a lot a lot of masks to make and so we're excited about that um but you know it, for me it's been pretty frustrating with this whole thing i think mentally i i kind of i've been with the injury happening with me not being able to run it kind of put me into a weird spiral where you know with that and the stress of just the whole situation we're in and everything like i kind of like i don't know i lost my mind and so I was using food again as like a, I can control this. And so, and that doesn't mean I can control this in a good way. It means that I, it's an out of control situation. And so, you know, I uh, was on and off the diet a lot um, over the last like mm, two months, I think. So I would do it for like a week or a couple of days and then I'd fall off the wagon and then I'd restart and do it for a couple of days and then fall off the wagon. And luckily I didn't really gain a ton of weight you know, um, which is really nice. Uh, I basically, it's enough to call it water weight, I guess. And so, but it feels really good to be back on track this week and really, you know, run. Running felt good. It felt amazing. I did it, you know, every day this, or every, the three times this week that I'm supposed to. And it started a training program again. And it just feels great to go out and, and do that in the mornings. I do need to get up earlier because... I, there is, it's like a neighborhood party every morning <laughs> around here, so uh, I, I'm thinking maybe I need to start getting up back up at 6.30 to run. Uh, plus, today it's supposed to be 91 degrees in Southern California, specifically here, and that is really hot. So hot. I'm not ready for summer, not ready for heat at all yet. Luckily, it's going to go back down into the, um, the 70s, I think, this next week, so... It's just a few days of extreme heat, but um, that's fine. Amy had to turn on the air conditioner in the workroom that's in the window. That's pretty early for that, considering it's April. So uh, pretty wild, but you know, she we don't want her to get overheated with the baby and everything. Um, but yeah, so there's so update with us. Uh, like I said, I have been running again, and I'm back on dieting and, and trying to lose weight. Uh, I still have. 40 pounds to lose before the baby gets here, and that is my goal, to lose all that weight before um, 
I have, so she's in week 14, so I have some time, which is great. Uh, but, I, time is running out, let's just say that. Things are going really fast right now, really fast, and it feels weird uh, to be so, like, deep into the pregnancy already and be like, oh, you're already in your second trimester? Like, I don't even really, the first trimester doesn't even seem that long, you know? And so to think, like, oh, the second trimester is going to feel the same. And so, uh, yeah, it's, time is already starting to, like, take off, which is crazy. And I've heard that a million times, that even when you get married, like, time speeds up. And then when you have a kid, it speeds up even more. And so it's just because we're getting older and days seem shorter. And so, but yeah, uh, Amy is doing a lot better. She has been able to keep food down for the last couple of days. Uh, I think it's been probably four days since she's thrown up, which is pretty cool. So, uh, which would almost make it Sunday. I think either it was Saturday or Sunday was the last time she threw up. Could have been Monday, I guess. I don't know. What day is it? It's Friday. Okay. Yeah, so she it's been let's just say it's been this whole week she hasn't thrown up. And she which is awesome. She's had a couple bouts of nausea, but it's not been like her normal, like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna throw up immediately after run to the bathroom nausea. It's been like, oh, I don't feel good, so she lays down for a few minutes and then usually what she does is she sucks on a, a Werther's like caramel candy, hard candy, and it really helps her. She has this pregnancy candy stuff that her aunt brought her over that is supposed to help with nausea too that she takes sometimes so it's just like laying down flat and like or not flat but her head she put she props her head up with a couple of pillows and just sort of like lays there and like it really helps her and so um so that's really good we're really excited about her kind of turning the corner hopefully with the the morning sickness throwing up stuff and then as of yesterday she's craving new foods of like the meat-esque variety so she really wants chipotle even though we're not going to go out and get it for her she really wants i think it's more she wants a burrito really bad and so we have some frozen burritos um she does have a really bad cold sore which is weird um she so she's been posting on social media about her lips or she posted on social media about her lips that they were all like swollen and purple and um but there was a little bit of a, a thing here and so she she's like i think i have a cold sore and i was like oh, it doesn't look like a cold sore but apparently it was or it is um and so she took a picture of her of her lips and her thing and sent it to her doctor and emailed her doctor and her doctor called and said yep you need to get this or i can prescribe something for you and so i just ran and got because she's in a lot of pain yesterday and so i just ran out and i got this uh I don't know what it is, but it's specifically for cold sores, and so she put it on, and she, you could she could almost immediately tell it started to sting a little bit, but then like within a, an hour, like she could tell that it was really starting to help, and so that's really good. Um, but it looked like she was she went and got injections, you know, in LA because she wanted some some fuller lips, but um, but she's doing a lot better with food, with nausea, with throwing up, and. Week 14 is definitely, I can tell, it's starting at a turn point for hopefully next week she can turn it even more and maybe start eating chicken or meat-related things that she hasn't been able to eat because she gets so grossed out by it. So, um, and hopefully my food doesn't gross her out anymore and she can maybe be around. I made tacos and so I was warming them up and she came around the corner because usually what happens is I feed her first, like really early. She usually eats a really early dinner now, and so I'll feed her. Uh, whatever it is that she wants like last night she ate mac and cheese which was amazing she had it twice yesterday which was awesome because she hasn't eaten mac and cheese in weeks because it grossed her out and so she couldn't eat it and so um anyways so i fed her and then she went she comes in the back and she just hangs out in the room the rest of the night because she can't take the smells of different cookings and so uh, I was warming up my tacos, and she came around the corner, and she's like, nope. And so she immediately turned around and walked, walked back into the bedroom. But, like, before, what would happen with that is she would she would instantly start gagging, and then she'd have to run to the bathroom and throw up. She didn't gag, and she just was like, oh, no, I don't want this. And so, like, that to me is a, is a, is a huge sign that she's turning the corner, and so I'm very excited about it. 
Um, we're hoping that it gets better. We're hoping that the, you know, she's been doing a lot of shopping for the baby, which is really fun, and or pretend shopping, she says. She's been making baby lists. For fun fact, if you didn't know, there's a lot of baby-esque registry things you can do, and all of them give you free things. And so if, you know, we're going to have a ton of really awesome free stuff for a while that, like, maybe we don't have to actually start buying <laughs> things like baby wipes and stuff like that for at least the first week. And so we'll have a plethora of stockpile before we even have the baby, which is great. Um, I mean, obviously we will before and too, but like, it's just funny. We're going to have a, I mean, me, I might start using them before the baby comes. If, you know, I have a pack in my car of wipes that I keep for wiping keys and doors down and my phone and stuff like that. So anyways, Oh, crazy times, but things are going really good right now for us and uh, with Amy and I, I feel like she's turning the corner finally and we're going to be able to um, move on and she's going to be able to eat dinner at the same time as me and hopefully we'll be able to get her some good food that she likes uh, that is good for the baby too and, and um, is healthy and she hasn't been eating the healthiest because she hasn't been eating and so uh, it's been a lot of just snacks. Um, because she eats a little bit at a time and so hopefully she'll be able to start eating more good nutritious meals and, and um, you know when we were talking to the doctor about that the doctor's like just get the calories in just whatever way you can get the calories in get the calories in and so uh, not that eating sourdough toast drinking a lot of apple juice and she eats peaches constantly and stuff like that so it's not like she's just eating junk food all the time she isn't really eating a lot of food and so um yeah I'm, I'm excited i'm excited for her and and hopefully we can move on so but yeah i'm doing good with running and i'm excited about dieting again and and losing weight and um, amy is uh turning the corner and so that's good and so uh look for my prank video i'm excited to film a prank video and talk about oh, we have some pretty like i talking with through the prank thing with Amy on Monday, like, I have, I mean, majority of my high school years and just after high school was, like, prank city. We were pranking people all the time, so I have a lot of really fun pranks to talk about. I have a lot of pictures to share and stories to talk about because I really love these stories. I think they're really funny and um, pretty interesting, and uh, some of them might gross you out, so I'm just warning you now, but... They're not overtly, I mean, the biggest one that we ever did was pretty terrible, but, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, thanks for joining me today and just in this little update that I wanted to do. Um, I, we appreciate you guys and the support and everything, and we're sorry that we're kind of slowing down on, like, the diet stuff with the videos. We really wanted to get back into that at some point very soon, and definitely when the baby comes Amy's gonna be jumping back on a Weight Watchers because Weight Watchers actually has a program for breastfeeding and so she wants to get that because she feels like she's gonna want to start getting back into good habits of eating right and you know it's really important for us that we don't pass on our really bad behavior to our baby and so we want um, we definitely want to start off on the right foot with that and so she's really excited to jump back onto that but for the time being she's just trying to get food in and not throw it up so um, but, but hopefully in the coming weeks we can start making more vlogs and more videos and Amy's just really tired all the time and, and even though she's starting to turn the corner with some things the tiredness level is still kind of there yesterday she was exhausted so it's just you know it's kind of a weekly thing and so thanks for joining me I said this was going to be short but it ended up being long but I um, appreciate the support appreciate you guys um, and we will see you on Monday and hopefully you guys have a great weekend Appreciate you all. Thanks.